Travel down just about any street these days and you'll find houses decorated for Halloween. But as David Belmondo found out, one house in particular offers a haunt like no other. The moon was full, a perfect night for a Halloween haunt. For the past 17 years, Randy Scalos has been filling his yard with ghosts and goblins, some emerging from the ground, others getting a leg up on the competition. Over a hundred spooky figures welcoming more than a thousand visitors to his yard. I always had really good memories of Halloween and growing up around Halloween. So this to me is like an extension to go back to your childhood and have a lot of fun. And fun is what it's all about. Scalaw spends several thousand dollars on his display that grows every year. He spends weeks setting up his land of the macabre. It's the little things that count, like a makeshift drinking fountain. Talk about water on the brain. Just when you think you've had enough fright on the outside, come on inside. There's some people we'd like you to meet. The spooky garage is filled with haunts and some very eerie pictures. A professional painting I had done of the Barnabas Collins from the TV soap Dark Shadows, our moving eye painting, and then the uh, portrait of the man and, wo and woman with the glowing eyes. I got that out of an antique store in Erie, actually. I think everyone really likes the magic mirror, you know, because of its uh, little uh, incantation that it does. I'll bite your face. Scalos loves to scare, but also loves to help. As we accept donations for our local food pantry here in the city, and it in turn helps them, and people get a nice little entertainment value as well. It's a spooktacular time. David Belmondo, Action News 24. Not to be missed this time of year. If you'd like to visit the haunting grounds, you can log on to hauntonwilliams.com for directions. Craig, you